Before Gurney morphed into a fully fledged primary healthcare clinic back in 20, 2006, uh, pre to 2006, Gurney uh, used to deliver a program called um, Social Emotion Wellbeing, part of the Family Wellbeing Program. And part of that was just delivering social care to our local mob here in community. Um, but we also saw a need for that uh, clinical biomedical model. So when you deliver primary, uh, de when you deliver social emotional wellbeing, you also have to deliver primary health care as well. Pre-family wellbeing, I should also mention, was that uh, Yarraba went through a, 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 a year of uh, really bad suicides. Hence, why the family wellbeing came through came through that as well was established. Uh, the life promotion team was also established through that, and then from there uh, it were, it morphed into a clinic. And now today, when we deliver comprehensive primary care here at Yarraba, here at Gurney, um, it's not only just social emotion wellbeing, family wellbeing. It's also that clinical bio, biomedical model in the clinic. The family wellbeing program is around empowering our people to take. Uh, I guess more of a uh, uh, better approach to how they manage their life and their family and their community. So when we, when our mob goes through the Family Wellbeing Program, we equip them with tools around how do you deal with past traumas, for example, the suicides, or even um, you know when we even go back further, you know, around colonisation and so forth. So Family Wellbeing get get the participants to look at themselves and, and think about where are they now, um, why have they come to this part in their life and how do we support them with some tools to equip, equip them to go through some of those emotions and to be better at working, to be better at looking after their children, to be better at working within community with local community mob. So family wellbeing is around the ind individual support uh, the family support and then we look at the wider community. How do we bring that all into play? Because when we look at um, all the social determinants and all the social determinants that impact on uh, an individual, it's not only just individual, it's family and it's community as well. How do we support all of those and equip these people with the tools to manage that and navigate through that? Um, the family wellbeing is very important even to today because we continue to have people who come through the clinic that have that are dealing with social issue that, issues at home. So that from there, from the clinic, we can do that referral pathway back into the clinic, uh, back into family wellbeing, I should say, so that they start to address some of those social issues that's going on in their life, in their family life, in their community. Because when we look at empowerment, how do we get someone to empower themselves to um, write a resume and get better at get, get better at a job. How do we get um, our mums to be to support them through being good parents and bringing up good kids in community? How do we support all that? I would encourage all our mob here in Yarraba to participate in the Family Wellbeing Program, as it better equips them with tools to cope with the everyday pressures that we encounter here in community.